Hey everyone, Bri with Mortgage Land, and today I want to talk to you about jumbo mortgages and maybe an alternative to a jumbo mortgage as well. So we have a lot of clients coming to us looking to buy houses, and, and sometimes their loan amounts, the amount that they want to borrow, is above the conforming loan limit. So this is a limit set by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and if you want to borrow more than that, then that's considered a jumbo mortgage. Jumbo mortgages have a little bit tighter guidelines, a little bit higher interest rates, and sometimes they're a little bit harder to get. Don't let that discourage you, but that's just the case. And, and what we can do sometimes is what we do is we look at whether it's beneficial to do a first mortgage and a second mortgage. We call this the jumbo buster. So let's say you do a first mortgage up to the conforming loan limit and then a second mortgage to bridge the gap between your down payment. We do this all the time. Uh, back a long time ago, we used to call these 80-10-10s or, or uh, 75 15s those are different types of first mortgage and second mortgage loans very very popular what you do is to determine which program is right is look at something called the blended interest rate the blended interest rate takes into account the interest rate on the first the interest rate in the second the loan amount on the first the loan amount on the second blends them together for an effective interest rate if the effective interest rate with the combined two loans is lower than the jumbo rate, then you should do the first and second. If the jumbo rate is lower than the blended rate, then you should do the jumbo. If you have questions about what's right for you, give us a call. Thanks, Brian with Mortgage Atlanta.